All right, you may or may not have seen, but over the weekend I had a little race. I'm not sure why I was racing in December, but I was just like, lols, let's do it. Like, why not? But anyway, I got spat, which is pretty sad because I actually had some fitness. But anyway, the reason I got spat, it was quite obvious, was because I was cornering like, you know, I don't know how to describe it. was cornering like a bus. It was just dreadful. Um, it was quite a wet course, had never raced it before, was just on edge, just didn't really corner fast, and then just basically massive gaps opened up. So my mate who came third, um, we will look at his power data and my power data. Um, basically, I was just like all right position at the front, then just kept losing position, and then by the time, and then I just was like kept losing the wheel, and then the time I got dropped, I just I was like chasing on. I was like, oh, there's someone behind me. Hopefully, they'll come through and do a turn and get me back on. And then there was, I was the last person, and that was it. Um, but anyway, so here is the course. So basically, it was a fat tailwind on this part here. The wind was going this way across. So this bit here was nuts in the gutter sort of um, thing. And up here was like 20 k's an hour. Um, but anyway, so you can see for me, average power, 292 watts before I got spat. And my mate for about the same duration was 276 watts and he's slightly lighter than me oh sorry heavier than me so on accelerations you think my power would be less so that sort of shows you like how much worse my corning was i had to do huge accelerations well, look at his power bar it's a lot smoother than mine when well, comparison here you can see that every single acceleration i'm like barely pedaling and then huge sprint out the corner and this is sustainable the normalized for this uh first 15 16 minutes was 320 watts which theoretically i should be able to hold for an hour um but at, like, at the same time, it was a tough day out. And I think, if anything, sometimes the normalized doesn't even, when it's on such short sprints, it doesn't necessarily take account because most of these sprints weren't 30 seconds. So it, it's sort of more painful. But anyway, at the same time, you can see here, like I barely was riding smoothly. And this is where I just got ruined. So 979 watts peak. But you can just see that constantly, there's never any con continuity. But when you're at the front of the group, you sort of pedal into the corner, keep the speed closer instead of like going in, slowing the um, brakes on. And then um, like you can see the speed distribution is pretty similar. I can't really analyze it properly, really, because um, it's sort of hard to tell. But you can see, I mean, it's not like I'm going way faster or way slower than him. Um, and his average is like 38 minus 37.2. But I think that was probably because I included a little bit when I got dropped and sort of stopped pedaling. Um, but yeah, that, I guess that's the main message from, the, from what I learned is just like, you just need to not be scared of crashing and just like go in the corners full gas. Like I'm, I'm annoyed because I, I definitely had some fitness to do all right in the race. But like to be honest, it's just like I haven't raced that much before. Like people are saying, it's just like you know, you just need to learn these things. Um, and then when I actually find that I can corner in the dry fine normally, like I never really get the gap out of corners. But I think it's just because it was like people had raced on the course, it was a bit wet, hadn't done a race before, bit sort of like have a twenty three on the back, making excuses, that sort of thing. Brain wasn't one hundred percent in it, and then you just yeah shit cornering and then that's it um but anyway i think you know will we race on the weekend i'm not sure maybe maybe not um but anyway his was 300 watts for the whole hour um weighted average 320 so probably normalized was like 330 which obviously i can't really do um but yeah the, the lad got third so he did well uh but anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy uh and if you have any tips on cornering or whatever then let me know and i'll see you in the next video